Welcome to Paul's Kitchen. Today we're going to talk about rice cookery. Now hopefully you should have your work list of what we're actually going to cook today, which is going to be a chicken dish braised in rice. Now, chicken is a staple diet of many Far Eastern countries, India, China, and we use a lot of rice in the UK. There are over 250 varieties of rice, of which I probably know six, ten types. Now, specifically we're going to look at four different types of rice today. So we're going to look at long grain rice. I've got some basmati rice here which we're going to use. And this is kind of our general rice we use in the kitchen for savoury dishes. Similar to long grain rice is a brown long grain rice. It's healthy for you but it takes longer to cook. It has a more of a crunchy taste to it. There's also a boria rice or Italian rice which we use for risottos and we also have short grain rice which we tend to use for desserts. And I'm going to do a couple of dishes with the long grain rice and the short grain rice today. We have done some work on risottos already. Now cooking wise rice you can steam, boil, braise or microwave. Today we're going to do a mix of boiling and braising. Storage wise we expect well, rice is quite a volatile product so we need to make sure it's stored correctly. If it's fresh like the, if it's bought in fresh and still dry it needs to be put in a sealed container and stored somewhere dry and cool. If it's cooked rice once you've cooked it it needs to be cooled as quickly as possible and then it needs to be stored between two and five degrees and it will only last for up to three days. It needs to be clearly labelled in the fridge. There's been a lot of issues in the past with people getting food poisoning off rice so it's important to store it correctly and uh, it's something called Bacillus cereus which causes the actual bacteria in the in the rice that makes you ill. You can also freeze rice as well um, and you can also buy actually rice frozen if you so desire. So today we're going to make a chicken dish and I'm also going to make a, a short grain rice dish in milk and make a rice pudding. So let me just bring you down to the kitchen side. So first of all we'll go through our ingredients. You can see here we've got all our ingredients listed. I've got some chicken some chicken thigh meat here which is quite considerably cheaper than if we buy chicken breasts it's on the bone so it's got that put some flavor in the actual dish now I want to cook you a few today you cook how many you think you're going to need for people you've got tonight there's only two of us for dinner tonight so I'm just going to cook three nice pieces depending on the size as well if they're, two, if they're big you might only need one per person if they're small you need two so you have to make a decision on that I've got my long grain rice onions which I've diced, I've got some coriander here and some chilli and some garlic which I'm going to put in, I've got a stock cube here which I put into water, now the stock cube, this is a vegetable stock cube, kind of a chicken stock cube, it doesn't really matter, just be aware of stock cubes tend to have some salt in them so you don't want to be careful on your actually doing your seasoning to make sure you don't put too much salt in, I've got some oregano and I've got some tinned tomatoes and I've got some red peppers I'm going to cook later on to use as a garnish. Now if you don't want to get your fingers on the raw chicken, what you can do is you can actually use tongs to put your chicken in. And let's see it's put nice hot and sizzling now. Let's get a bit of colour on though. Now while that's colouring, I put on my rice milk and in here I've got milk, nutmeg and some sugar. I've added my rice, short grain rice to that. I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir now. I'm also going to add some butter. There's plenty of recipes around for uh, baked rice pudding. Put some butter in there. I've also put some vinegar in there for flavour as well. Let that stir around in a while. I'm going to put that in the oven and just let that finish off in the oven. Let's 
So hopefully now I'm going to get some colour into my chicken. Yeah, it's just coming in nicely. Doesn't need to be cooked, just need to have some colour with it. And I've got some paprika here. And we're going to put some paprika onto our plate. And we're going to dust the chicken in paprika. And just like that, this is my paprika. Give it a nice bit of colour. Now the next thing I'm going to do with the oil I've got off the chicken, I'm going to add my onions and get that started. It's cooking away now nicely. Once that's cooked for the wine, make sure it's not too high the light now because you don't want this to be too coloured. You just want this to the onions really to sweat a little bit. So just sweating away there. And the next thing I'm going to add is my garlic. Now you don't have to add chilies. I'm just going to add a bit of chili, a bit of spice to it. But you don't have to add the chili, you can leave the chili out. So got onions, garlic, the oil in here, and my onions. The next thing I'm going to add is my long grain rice, which I've got here. I'm going to add that to the mix. I'm just going to give that a bit of a stir around. Get some of the oil soaked up in that rice. And you can see now that's coming along nicely. So the next thing we're going to do is add my tin tomatoes. So a bit of water in that tin tomatoes to wish out the last little bit in the bottom. Just put a bit of water in just to get all that tomato out. Put a nice cut at the rice. We're going to put our stock in here. And I'm going to bring that all to boil now. Just bring it all to boil. And add a little bit of oregano to that. If you haven't got oregano, you can add basil. And give that a bit of a stir. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a cartouche. And that's going to keep some of the steam in the rice so it doesn't go dry. Now for a cartouche, we'll need a bit of greaseproof paper. And we've seen this before, roughly the size of your frying pan here. So I just bring that down, you can see that's going to be roughly the size of the frying pan. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to half it and seal that edge. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to half it again, but along the edge. So all the time you can see I'm keeping that sealed edge. And again we're going to, going to bring it across again, half it again, along that sealed edge. And again. And this is making our cartouche to go over the top. So there we go. I want the cartouche. We find out where the radius is, which is half that circle. I'm going to cut that cartouche to be roughly like that. And that's going to go over our dish to keep in all the moisture, like that. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure my chickens are nicely coated with the part. Paprika, and just start, you see it's starting to look quite nice and red that. And a really little nice, make sure it's all over, it's got plenty of paprika on it all over. So it's nicely paprika up, you see that's really soaking that in. Nice bit of colour on that. So now once that rice comes to the boil, I'm just going to put on top the chicken very gently on top. Don't really want to get any of the liquid onto my nice paprika chicken, so like that. I'm just going to put that then on top, the cartouche on top, like that. I'm just going to put that into the oven. So, brown the chicken, 
took them out, put in the paprika. Fried off the onions in the pan with the garlic. Chili's optional. Added the rice. Added my stock to the rice. Then put the chicken back on, which had been paprikaed. Put the cartouche over the top. Notwithstanding, I put tomatoes in there as well. Then I'm going to put the whole lot into the oven now to braise. So I've boiled the rice and now I'm going to braise it. And that's going to take about half an hour. Now my other dish we'll be making is going to be the rice. And you see here, just coming to boil, it's just, this is milk, sugar, vanilla and butter. Now I'm going to bring that to the boil, the same as we've been doing, I could put this into a, a nice casserole dish to go in the oven. As it happens, I'm just going to put this in this pan in the oven as it is. And again, that's going to be a good hour to cook out. So I'm just going to put that in the oven now. Leave that in there. And we'll be back in about 40 minutes to finish.